Hi, my name is Maddie and I'm working at Kuruma Mollis as a snorkeling instructor. So Mollis is really popular for sandy beaches, palm trees and of course the blue waters. And all year around, the water is above 26 degrees and very warm. Today, I'm going to give you a few cool tips how to do snorkeling in Maldives. Okay, right now we are here in the pool. So before we head out to the lagoon, we will give a practice how to use the snorkel equipment. Okay, let's talk about the snorkel equipment first. Here, we have the mask and the snorkel. Should be perfectly fitting into your face and always make sure that you're taking your hair off from the mask area before you wear it. And then we have fins. Just make sure it's a perfect fit. If not, you will end up having cramps and blisters in your legs. If you are not a great swimmer or if you are not really comfortable in the water, it's always advisable and recommend to use a life jacket, especially on the reef. Alright, let's begin. While you're snorkeling, there's a possibility that you can get some water into your snorkel. In order to clear it out, all you have to do is just blow some air into your snorkel. And also, when you're snorkeling, there's a possibility that you can get some water into your mask. All you have to do is just press your mask against your face and then blow out through your nose. While snorkeling, breathing is the easiest part. Just breathe in and out, slowly, gently and then take your time. While you're snorkeling, duck diving is important. Just to clear some waves, all you have to do is put your head down and kick out. And when you reach the surface again, just blow out through your snorkel. It will clear all the water inside your snorkel. While you're underwater, you might feel some pressure in your ears. All you have to do is pinch your nose slightly and then blow out. It will equalize the pressure and it will make you more comfortable in the water. Okay, we are done with our practices, so we will be heading to the beach with some of our guests for an actual snorkeling experience. Before we head out, there are some safety general rules that you have to follow on. Always you have to snorkel with pairs. And if you are not a strong swimmer, or if you are not comfortable, wear a life jacket. Be really careful with the currents and the directions of the current. And keep away from the boards if there's any. And of course, you have to wear some really good sunscreen before you head out. And let's look at the key points to make your snorkeling more enjoyable. Plan your snorkel. Entry and exit points. Current directions. Water sports centers in your resorts will provide this information. Check the conditions. It is not advisable to go out snorkeling in stormy conditions or late in the evening. Make sure you do this slowly and gently. Do not overstrain yourself. Really simple guys, breathe in and out. Keep horizontal, float, stay close together. Kicking nice and gently, go with the current. Finally, when you are in the water, please never touch the coral or marine life. Coral is very sensitive and very slow growing. And one fin kick, a touch, could destroy many years of growth. Use the marked snorkeling channels to sew to keep well clear of growing crows. Never feed marine life. They can become dependent and aggressive around humans. Thank you for joining us. If you are coming to Kurumba or any other Maldivian islands for that matter, we strongly recommend you to take a snorkeling lesson. Follow the good safe snorkeling practices and of course protect our environment. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more handy hints of making the most of your holiday in Maldives.